Hi everyone, that's Niall, and today we're going to take a look at how we can reset uh, an overwritten ROM on a Dandinator, one that has been written with a special full ROM, such as the Sword of Ayana. And that's what's on Jason's uh, Dandinator Mini 1.3 here. And if I turn on this uh, CPC 6128, you'll see that it goes straight into the Sword of Ayana, right? So I got the question on amstradnoob.com. How do I remove that and put on the games that I had on before with the normal Dandinator loading screen? And the answer involves some help from the uh, CPC loader itself. So let's take a quick look at that. And here it is. And if we look at that, try and do this with two hands. Okay. So if I was to click on the circle icon here and then click on the rocket ship, you will see that it brings up a basic listing. And that basic listing right there is what I'm going to type onto my CPC. And I actually, I've already typed it up. And you'll see that it's seven lines, 10 to 70. And those lines, the number of lines and the code itself will vary depending on the version of the ROM you're using. So the ROM generator I'm using here is version 2.5. The version that you might have on your CPC uh, will change. The actual commands may change. So let's uh, exit out of this and have a look on the CPC itself. So before we um, get back the original games on this Dandinator, we have to get the basic uh, screen showing on our CPC. And to do that, if you press the second switch down and hold it and then reset, and that will get you to basic. There we are. So now what we can do is load uh, the previously saved listing. And I'm loading it old fashioned style from a disc. And it's very small, only seven lines. There it is exactly as we saw on the CPC loader. Okay, so let's try this again. I've uh, loaded the software, it's over there. The listing I should say. And now I'm gonna import a ROM set. And I'm gonna use the original ROM set that came with this Dandinator. It's going to populate with games now in a second. There they are. Loads of games. If I flick over to here, nothing should happen. I'm back to here. Let me just double check my uh, COM port. Looks good. If I refresh, COM4, close that. Okay. Now, right, let's go over to here and see can we get this to work. What I need to do is type run and press uh, nothing yet. Go back over here, click on the symbol. Where is it? That one. And we've got this USB symbol here. Ooh, look at that. One of 32. Now if I go over to here and press enter, let's see what happens. Let's try clicking on that USB again. Ta-da! That's the way it's done. Look at that. Look at that. And of course, that's going to take some time before it's done. But we've got all the time in the world. So it has to program all 32 blocks. If we go back to here, we can see that it's actually doing that with the EEPROM writer. 10 out of 32. I got to say this particular function, uh, reloading a, an original ROM onto a Dandinator after it's been programmed with like the Sword of Iana, it's not easy. It's so finicky. So the order I did it right there worked in this particular session, 
but trust me, I've tried it 10 times prior to this. And out of those 10 times, it might have worked once. So I'm not sure exactly why, but it seems to be very, very sensitive. And I don't think it's the cable because I have no problem reprogramming this this exact same dandinator with the exact same cable with the sword of Ayana. And I'll show you that process right after this is done. So 27, 32 will be done soon. And let's go back here. We should see it reset with the standard dandinator menu. That's coming now. Boom. Look at that. So now we've got a working Dandinator menu like we had originally when I got this device. So uh, we've fixed the problem, but let's say you want to get Sword of Ayana onto a Dandinator like this one. Well, how do you do it? I'll show you. Go back to your Dandinator software, click on File, click on Preferences, Click on Loader, and you see this one here, Say Send Custom File. Click on that, and point it to your Sword of Ayana uh, ROM, which you download. And that's this one here. And that's a 512K ROM. Clicking on that, click on Open. And then I just close this, right? Now I go back here and I'm going to press L. Watch this. It's rewriting. And what we're going to have after this is the Sword of Iana. And then all I have to do is uh, reset it back. I'm going to ask Jason, which does he want? Does he want this or does he want the games before I send it back to him? Because I really need to send back his little Dandinator Mini, which is now quite famous. It's been used in a couple of videos. So I hope you found this helpful. How to fix a previously upgraded uh, Dandinator that was flashed with the Sword of Ayana uh, back to an original games ROM. Um, and once you've done that, how can you actually flip it back to something like the Sword of Ayana? So it's not straightforward, but it does work, as you can see. And as soon as this is done counting to 32 or programming those 32 blocks, it will reset the Dandinator. And instead of us seeing these, the Dandinator mini menu, which we just saw a minute ago, it'll be back with the Sword of Ayana. And um, yeah. Fascinating stuff. I just wish the software, the, the ROM generator software was more reliable or easier to use. It's, it is quite troublesome, I have to say. For some things it's easy, but things like this, not so much. All right, now it should reset. Here it comes. There it is. Job done. All right, hope you enjoy this. See you in the next one. Bye.